thing that you all know. And what is it? I'm talking about happiness. What is happiness? <laughs> we all feel that happiness is when we get into a big house, get a sweet thing to eat probably, or have a nice sweet wife. <laughs> what is happiness? <laughs> Where does the knob that I can turn that can get me happiness? Where is that knob? Anyone? Television. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing is for sure, the search for happiness drives us to do a lot of things. It, it drives us to look for a million dollar house and we think that's going to buy us happiness. It drives us to get the biggest and the coolest gadget in the world, technology, right? You feel that you have this phone, which is the biggest screen, nice lighting, cool effect, Bluetooth, and that's cool, right? Is that what is going to buy you happiness? We all think that. Every day there is a new technology coming in. Progress is done every other day. Every other day, you see new technology, new gadgets, new research is being done, and we live in a more and more fancier world. Is that fanciness getting us to where we need to go and get us into the happiness? Logic tells that if somebody does better education, better schooling, or does a better job, he's more happier than the guy who does a low-grade job. Is that logic right? Yeah. Let's take an example. A guy who is fishing for his living, <laughs> right? He has to fish the whole day. Is he more happier versus a guy who is working on computer all the day and then finding two hours to do his fishing in the weekend? Is that guy more happier? And then finally his boss calls up on the weekend and says, Look, 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 we need to do this, it's a critical. And he has to drop that fishing plan. Who is more happier? So that simple logic of, you know, just education, progress, promotions that a person gets, is not buying us happiness. I mean, at least there is no direct relation. So, there was this article in TED that I read. And that's, that's, that kind of brought some of the things that I'm trying to bring out here they kind of did some research. And I believe personally that, you know, if we are going to ever get some answers on what happiness is and how to really get that knob of happiness, I feel we are going to get from science. I mean, science meaning not the science where you, you get the nitrous oxide and you, you kind of <laughs> inhale it. No, no, not that science. What I'm talking about, science is study, 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 study deeply to find what brings happiness to humans. And this is exactly what this group has done. What they did is, they used the cell phones. And there is a site called trackyourhappiness.org. You can go in and really figure out your level of happiness. I recommend you guys try that. You go to that website, it will basically keep doing some kind of assessment on your day-to-day -day routine what they thought is happiness is really in small things, moment to moment things. And that's where the happiness really lies and they wanted to investigate. So if you register there, they will keep sending you some messages in, the, in every day. And you can respond to that saying that, okay, I'm happy now, I'm not happy now, I'm doing this, so on and so forth. Based on all the responses in a, in a very private way, they kind of analyze the data and they started spitting out information that kind of gives us this information about what happiness is. So one thing they found is there are a lot of times when a person is doing certain things, like right now you're listening to me, however, your mind is wandering. You know what that means? Just like what Joe was saying, listening, right? You are listening to me, but you're still not. Your focus is somewhere else. You're thinking about, oh, that project work that I was, I was supposed to send that email, I've forgotten. Or that food I ate, I don't think that was very nice. Or something, <laughs> on, some odd thing that is coming in your mind all the time. Is that happening to you? 
this is what is called mind wandering. And every time they've asked the people when they went to this track, uh, your happiness, they kind of ask the people whether you are feeling that what you're doing is, you know, is exactly where you're focused in. And a lot of people say no, yes, and so on. And with those responses, they are trying to figure out on this happiness. Mind wandering actually brings a lot of creativity. A lot of research we have done is thinking out of the box. Mind wandering helps you there. So there's a lot of good things with mind wandering. But how good it is? Is it bringing happiness and mind wandering? Is it good? I mean, you're not happy with my lecture or the speech here. Is that the reason why your mind is wandering? Is that the reason you're thinking something else which is more interesting and more happier for you? What do you guys think? So the, they did this analysis and figured out that when your mind is wandering, you're actually more unhappy versus when you're more focused. So the analysis comes out and says that when you're more focused, you're actually more happier. And they did a, a little bit of more analysis there. Is it that you're wandering causing the unhappiness or is it the unhappiness causing wandering? And they figured out it's actually the unhappiness, sorry, the wandering which is causing the unhappiness. There's no reverse link there. So very interesting, it seems that 47% of average human being, 47% of the time in a day, you're actually wandering, your mind wandering. So that, that's what they figured out and it is actually the cause of your unhappiness, mostly. So what I want to say here is, look at it pro properly, find out where your focus is, where you want to focus, do whatever you do in a very focused way. If it's exercise, games that make you get your focus right, do that. When you do your focus right, you realize that just as your camera is picturing something and you're finding a focus on your picture, exactly the same way you will find that when you focus on the task that you're doing, your happiness is going to come into focus. And you can find that moment of snap as a happy time in your life. With that, thank you.